What crazy genius made this turn into this turn into this? Find out tonight on What's This Button Do? Have you ever looked at all the gear musicians use and wonder, how does it all work? My name's Dustin and my family and I are setting out on a quest to inspire both adult and kid musicians to create new sounds together and learn all about what it takes to produce great music. We'd like to invite you along on the journey as we explore the gear professional studios, musicians, and hobbyists use to create their art. We'll take a close-up look at the gear and ask, What's this button do? Hello and welcome to this week's episode of What's This Button Do? I'm your host, Dustin, and this week we are going to be taking a look at one of my favorite guitar brands of all time, Fidelity Guitars. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, Fidelity Guitars is actually based out of the UK um, and is built by a gentleman named Matt Oram. He's still kind of a one-man shop doing most of the stuff all himself. Um, he's been around since about 2017 making guitars, and I honestly was unaware of them until a few years ago uh, when Joe Branton on um, Guitar Nerds, the podcast, uh, was talking about seeing and meeting Matt at a guitar show, and he talked about this guitar called the Stella Rosa, and he uh, posted a little picture on their Facebook group of this pink guitar with three pickups, and the thing that blew my mind is I'd never seen anything quite like it before, and this guitar had all this custom metal work on it. So I said, I, I got to find out more about this. I emailed Joe directly and he sent me a link to Matt's site and, and uh, introduced us. And then I got a hold of Matt and I said, Hey, I don't suppose that guitar's still around from the show and for not nobody bought it. So I thought, all right, I, I got to try this out. So um, I asked Joe what he thought. He was like, Oh man, this killer guitar, you're going to love it. You should totally get it. So I uh, ordered it from Matt, got it in. And this was the start of one crazy guitar relationship. Now, I'm going to do some close-ups of this here in a second, but this is the Stella Rosa guitar. Now, this is one of the early guitars that Matt made, um, so it doesn't even have all of the new cool accoutrements that he's used to now. Um, but the cool thing about Matt's guitar, as you can see just from the initial glance, Unique shapes, unique designs. He does all of the metal work on his guitars. So these pickup ring covers around the P90s, all designed by him. The bridges on his guitars, the plates on here. This has got a mastery vibrato underneath it, but he does a solid metal covering for that. Um, and then some gorgeous woods. I'll, I'll do some close-up shots of the neck, but even just glancing there, you can kind of see. Um, just absolutely fantastic. Now he uses a lot of Mojo pickups from the UK um, in his guitars, and I think all the guitars that, that we've got here from Fidelity uh, are using those Mojo pickups, which sound amazing. I'm going to get into it in a second and and uh, show you what they sound like. But really, the purpose of me bringing up Fidelity is I want to talk today about custom build guitars, because there are a lot of amazing guitars out there. Um, if you want a Telecaster, Fender of course has amazing Telecasters, and there are tons of other brands out there making their own versions of the Telecaster. Same thing with the Les Paul. Gibson makes amazing Les Pauls, and there's tons of Les Paul-inspired guitars out there by tons of different makers. Um, but there are times when maybe you have an idea. You have a thought, and, and that guitar doesn't exist out there. And what do you do? And there's a lot of luthiers, um, like I, you guys know, I, I use Sife guitars a lot, amazing luthier, they do a fantastic job. But even the Sife guys, they kind of have their, their designs that they do, and they are willing to work outside the box, but it can be a little hard to do something completely from the ground up. Um, this is where Fidelity guitars, I think, just blows my mind. Um, so after playing my Stella Rosa for quite a while and falling in love with it, um, I reached out to Matt a few years ago, and I had this idea for a guitar in my head that I had never seen before and I'd never seen anybody do. And I drew it on a piece of paper and I'm gonna share the drawing with you now. We're gonna put it up here in the corner. And this will show you how incredibly terrible of an artist I am, but I can't draw worth a dang. But I had this idea and I sent it to Matt and I just said, hey Matt, here's this idea I have. I want this baritone, but I want it to do have some funky onboard effects, and I want it to be able to do these cool droney sounds. What do you think? I, I, I like this idea. I want this kind of like Japanese-inspired wave on here. Is this possible? I never got an email back that said, no, oh my God, are you crazy? 
no, this, this isn't doable. This doesn't exist. What Matt did was draw out a CAD file and sent me this. And you can see he took that inspiration, blew it up, changed it, made it into something real tangible. And my mind was blown just sitting there thinking, okay, he gets me. He totally understands what I'm going for here. Um, and it took about a year. And then suddenly the DB baritone signature shows up at my door. And this is all from that crazy little drawing that he sent over. He designed my signature guitar. Um, and number one, I will be forever indebted to him for that. Um, just because I can't believe what he's managed to do and what he managed to continue to do. But what he's done here is built a dream. And I wanted to share it with you because any of you who are out there dreaming up a guitar idea, if you have some wild thought and you're thinking, man, I wish somebody did this, I'm going to tell you, Fidelity probably would do that for you and would love to do it because he is a man who takes on challenges, tries to come up with new, fresh ideas and innovate and create. And so do not hesitate. I'm going to, at the end of this video, I will put a link to his website, his contact information. Um, and, and don't be afraid to ask your local Luthiers too. Um, there are a lot of crazy ideas out there, but there's something about being unique and being different and having fun that I think is so important. So I wanted you to know that there are people out there doing something cool and creative and no idea is too wild for them. So if you're interested in crazy, if you're interested in fun, take a look at Fidelity Guitars. I'm going to stop talking now. Hop over to the demo board and let's play these a little bit. I'll talk you through some of the features, the benefits, and let you see some of the cool stuff. And then we'll jump back in and finish it up. All right, thanks. All right. So the first guitar we're going to look at is the Stellarosa because that was the original guitar. And this has a little bit thinner neck um, than I typically would play, but it's a pretty standard size Fender uh, kind of medium C neck. Um, with really good fret work, beautiful wood. You can see um, as I get close up there just how gorgeous the wood is on there. Um, and then, of course, the kind of aged beat-in finish uh, that he does. Now, where it really shines is the design of the hardware. Like I said before, just the aged look of that hardware and the fact that all of this is hand done. It does add a little weight to the guitar. This is not a super lightweight guitar, but it's also not so bulky that I'm afraid to take it on stage and, and that it's gonna wear me out. But I want you to hear the design because what he's done here is instead of doing a standard, you know, five-way switch with an on-off toggle for here, what you have is a two-way toggle right here. And you can kind of hear when I'm up like this here, how you're hearing a little bit of a buzz like that 60 cycle hum. And when I'm down here, you're not. The reason for that is what we've got back here on this end is two rotary dials, a master volume and a master tone. These rotary dials actually select different pickup combinations. And there's four in each dial. So you have eight total pickup combinations. And then this one selects which one of these two rotaries we're using. So when I'm up, I'm picking from the first four rotaries. When I'm down, I'm picking for the second four rotaries. So what this effectively allows you to do is have two major sounds that you like, and they're pre-programmed in, ready to roll. So I've kind of got my rhythm tone up here. And then my lead tone. down there so I can switch between those at a moment's notice see how cool that is it's just a really really nice way to have it all set up and you can rotate through these you can play them it's it's just a really really fun way to dial in and I love having just a quick setting to two different settings rather than having to you know like a Stratocaster where you're having to like go to position two if you want to have a nice quiet kind of jam and then slide it all the way back and if you don't quite make it back to that last position then now you've got kind of a weird sound that you weren't looking for just having two presets already rigged in it's really really nice the other thing that absolutely shines on this guitar is this tremolo. So like I said before, there's a mastery unit under here, but then he's redone the top and the design on here. And I want you to hear how amazing the tuning stability is. Having this little roller bar that comes over, presses the strings down and brings them down to create that break over the top of the saddles here. What you get... <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
See how much vibrato I can get at just a slight touch? But it's still totally in tune after I've done that. I just absolutely love that. Now, one of the other things that you'll find on Matt's guitars is the neck work is just impeccable. There's a, a light radius to this, so there's a nice curve going through. So you feel every single note. And what's great is I never feel like I'm fighting the guitar. Just the way that it's all set up it, right from the factory, it was absolutely amazing. So now we're going to talk about the second Fidelity guitar. And this is the DB Baritone. Um, this, like I talked about at the beginning of the video, was inspired by that drawing that I sent over to Matt. Um, so this is actually my signature guitar, which is really fun. Um, but it is something that he does make um, as part of his model line. Um, this is a little bit funky and a little different than what we did in the... Uh, Stella Rosa. So what you've got here are three Mojo pickups. The bridge and the neck are both humbucker pickups, and then the middle is a single coil. And on the humbuckers, you have a traditional three-way switch here where you've got your neck, your middle, and your bridge selector. And then on top of each pickup, we have a little coil tap. So I'll play it to you untapped with the, this is the neck. <laughs> And then if we tap it, if we go to the bridge, if we tap that, just very, very cool. But where the magic of this guitar is, is in this little rotary right down here. This is a four-way rotary, very similar to what was in the Stella Rosa, but instead of messing with this, when you're in this first position, you're just using your standard three-way switch and you're selecting between the humbuckers and the sounds that you wanna do. But when I start twisting it, what you're doing is you're mixing in the middle pickup and reversing some of the polarity. So when I'm sitting down here on my bridge pickup and I twist this down, now what I've done is I've added in that middle pickup. Let me go back to the regular bridge. And then we add the middle. Really, really cool. Then you can also just go solo pickup or reverse the play. into a really, really cool sound. So that's all fun, fine and dandy. But where the magic of this guitar happens, and this is where I say, don't let any dream that you have stunt you from doing something cool with guitar. And this is where I would urge you, if you have a crazy idea, reach out to Matt. You will be surprised to hear how many times he will say yes. So you can see there's something crazy going on back here. And I've got this little bar right here that looks like a mastery vibrato. It is not. What this is, is actually a custom unit built by Energy Effects, NRG Effects. I'll put a link to them on the, on the video as well. But what Matt had him do was build an actual fuzz pedal that has two parts of the circuit. One is just a standard baritone voiced fuzz, which sounds killer by itself. And then he had him add this whammy bar that's got a controller that's essentially tied to a pot so it's basically like turning a dial on a knob as I move this up and down what this is doing is adjusting the frequency of an oscillator switch that's built into this fuzz that's a lot of words better for me to show you what this sounds like than for me to try to explain it so we have two switches here the first one is the on switch for the fuzz so when I hit that on <laughs> Okay, you can hear, really cool fuzz. What's really neat is there's two little dials here. The first one is the volume for that fuzz, so I can turn it way down. And you can hear, 
as I turn it up, it, it adds a little bit more fuzz, a little bit more drive to that section. But then this is actually functioning as a bias. So if I turn it way down, you get this sputtery fuzz. I turn it up a little bit. Turn up a little more. Turn up all the way. Cool, right? Awesome to have that fuzz built in. So if I'm walking around a stage somewhere playing, I've got kind of a quiet part. And then you want to just really get the fuzz in. Really easy, really simple to do on the fly. But here's where it gets really funky. Say you are creating a really thick wall of sound and you want to be able to you know a song's in a certain note and you want to be able to like fill out the spectrum of sounds. That's what this oscillator switch does. Now, prepare yourselves, turn your volume down a little bit if you got your volume on because what I'm about to do is gonna make a really loud, annoying droning noise for a second and I'm going to explain to you why that's important and why it's actually functional. And I want you to know down on the floor underneath me, I've got my tuner turned on. Um, I've got it in a, a bypass mode in my looper so I can see my tuner at all times. I don't have to mute my pedal board to, to be able to see it. But you're gonna see why that's important here in a second. So I'm gonna turn my fuzz on. Got my fuzz on. Now I'm going to turn the oscillator on. Now you hear how it's droning that note, right? I'm going to look down at my tuner. Right now, the note that that is droning is A sharp, okay? Now, say I know my song is in B. What I can do at the beginning of my song is I can tune this note using this to create a drone in the note that my song is written in. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna pretend I'm writing a song in B. I'm gonna start droning and I'll let you hear what this sounds like. So you hear, when I'm doing that, watch if I play a single B. That's if I'm playing without the oscillator, I'm gonna play that same lick. It essentially gives you infinite sustain to that note. So what you're creating is with just a few short strokes, you're creating this longer droning note in the key of the song that you're writing. And this allows you to change that key and to change those drone notes as you go, which is one of the coolest devices that I've ever, I've ever seen. And what's wild is every setting that you change on the guitar will change the notes tuning and the, the pitch of it. So if I've got this on, that's my bias knob. So super fun, super crazy, definitely not for everyone, but it's an effect that I think is just absolutely over the top creative and something that no one out there is doing right now. So don't let your dreams die just because no one's doing what you want. Don't be afraid to talk to luthiers and see if you can come up with some crazy ideas to create something truly unique for yourself. Okay, I know that was an absolutely crazy episode. It was a short one, but I wanted you to be able to see what Matt's done, and I also wanted to just give him a thank you for making something that I really wanted to happen come true. Um, I also want to end this story with a little extra detail. Hopefully by Christmas of this year, we'll be adding the third um, Fidelity to the studio. And if you thought that one was crazy, this is going to be even more over the top. Uh, about a year ago, I, I sent Matt a message and I said, I've got this idea. I really want to have a baritone um, that is fretless because I, I have a fretless bass and I love the sound. I, I tried a fretless guitar. It didn't sound that great, but I thought, man, fretless baritone could be really, really cool. 
But I also thought, man, what would be really neat is what if you had a fretless baritone with a sustainer built in that could actually hold a note and make that note drone. But then I tried a bunch of sustainers and I didn't like the way the sustainer pickup sounded. So I thought, man, it'd be cool if you had a pickup that could like vibrate a string, kind of like a um, one of those little devices that you hold over the string and it vibrates it with the magnets. I was like, what, wouldn't that be cool if you had one underneath each string and you could just turn it on and off at will? and pitched the idea to Matt, and guess what? He is working with our friends at Mojo and our friends at Energy, and they are currently working on the first fretless baritone that will contain sustainers for each individual string. So hopefully by Christmas of this year, I'll be able to introduce you guys to that guitar, let you hear some of the sounds of it, and I am so absolutely ecstatic for this. Um, We've got an artist named Missy um, from uh, the UK who's a graffiti artist. She's going to graffiti the guitar for us um, and create a really, really cool look. Um, so it's it's going to be over the top and wild um, and crazy. So I will uh, share with you all the details of that once we get a little bit closer. Um, but I, I just wanted you to hear that story because I know some of you are out there thinking, man, it'd be so cool to have a cool guitar like this, uh, but I want it to do this and this and this. Don't be afraid to reach out to Matt, reach out to your local luthier. Um, if you're in the Palin area, um, Shorty Roy Guitars um, uh, has made some amazing custom pieces that are completely unique and completely cool. He does these really, really cool pick guards um, on his designs, and I'm sure he would entertain some wild ideas from you as well. So uh, don't worry. If you, if you don't feel comfortable going overseas to try and find the right solution, I'm sure there's some people in your backyard that can help you with this too. Um, but the moral of the story is try. You can't hurt to ask and don't think that any idea is too crazy. I'm sure 90% of you watching this video right now are looking at me going, Dustin, why did you do that to that baritone? Oh my God, that's insane. But it's my own personal thing. It's It gives me my sound and I absolutely love it. Um, so let yourself be f uh, free to explore, try something new, get creative. And don't let the constraints of just a standard guitar hold you back from doing something unique that you want to do. Well, thank you all for coming out this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Next week, we're going to be taking a look at the 1981 DRV pedal. Um, this should be a lot of fun. I have not got to play it yet, so this will be my first time experiencing it. Um, and so I'm going to test it out a little bit this week, put together some ideas of how I would use it, and I'll share them with you next week. So please join me back here if you get some time. Be sure to check out Matt's uh, website down below. I'll put the link to Fidelity Guitars down here. Um, drop him a line if you have any questions. There is a... Uh, baritone that I would die for on his website right now. It's got uh, built-in effects uh, controlled by sliders. You got to go check it out. Even if you're not an effects junkie like me, um, please go take a look at it. It is, uh, I, I would put that up there in my top 10 dream guitars. That thing is absolutely amazing. Um, but go take a look at his stuff. Check it out. If you have questions, um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Fidelity's work. If any of you own a Fidelity guitar, please, please, please comment down below. Let me know the story. I want to know what model you have, how you've used it, uh, how you like it. Please, please share. Um, hopefully, we can get uh, uh, some of these here in the United States soon. Right now, Matt doesn't have a U.S. dealer, um, but it'd be so nice to be able to have a selection of his guitars here soon. So I'll keep talking to my friends. Maybe Palin, talking to you. Maybe we can make this happen someday. So, All right, everyone, thank you so much for coming out this week. Take care, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you soon.